like uh, communication disorders, we have to know uh, what is communications and how much it is important for us. So there is some few quote I have put on my slides and uh, this is communication is one of the most important skills uh, you require for a successful life. Uh, everywhere we want to communicate in any modes like verbal modes and non-verbal modes like body gestures, anything. Uh, there are some another few quotes like uh, the communication uh, is a skills that you can learn. It is like a riding a bicycle or a typing. If you are willing to work at it, you can rapidly improve the quality of every part of your life. So uh, communication skills is a listening skills is very important for us. And that's why one more quote I have put on here. The most important things in communication is hearing. That is not said. So listening skills is very important for us while communicating. Uh, let's talk on the communication skills. The communication is the active process of exchanging the information and ideas on communication involve the both understanding and expression. Uh, this is the effective communication cycle. So uh, here is the, I am a, a speaker at this time and you are a listener so maybe here will be the one listener and many listener so to fulfill and to effective communications what is the best things is required the to effective communication skills the feedback is very much important the feedback, feedback should be the two way combinations so you are doing the nodding and all these things so this is the feedback for the speaker so for best effective communication cycle put on here. Uh, now let us talk about the communication disorder. So communication disorder is what? Uh, as a speech therapist and audiologist, we are dealing the part of the communications. Those are the disorders populations. And what are the disorders? Like communication disorders where we can divide into the four categories like uh, speech disorders, Speech disorders means impairment of the articulation and the speech sounds, fluency and voice. I will talk in detail in later slides. I'm audible. Any questions? Uh, the next uh, things are the language disorder. So language disorder is impairment of comprehension and the use of spoken, written and other symbol system. So language impairment and the hearing disorders and the another is the central auditory processing disorders right in this slides i have uh, detailed discussed regarding the speech sound disorders in a uh, two categories like functional and organic so under the functional categories uh, generally, there is no reason behind that why the child is misarticulating, why child is not able to pronounce proper sounds. So there is articulation disorders and the phonological disorders. And another question is like organic, like development or acquired. Here in this category, motor, yeah, neurological. So uh, the neurological departments like no, uh, neurological conditions. Uh, hamper the executions of speech sounds. So like motor speech disorder, dysarthria and the apraxia. The planning and executions part are affected due to the neurological abnormalities, new, uh, motor speech disorders. And that there is a structural abnormalities in the children uh, in case of like a cleft lip and palate. So data departments like a malocclusions and the cleft lip and palates these, all these things create issues in problem of speech sound production exactly. The another issue is the sensory and perceptual things where the hearing impairments comes. Right? So this chart is okay. In these slides I have discussed with the pictures how uh, the speech sound disorders divided into the three parameters like uh, uh, sounds, misarticulation disorders, that particular sound is not coming, the fluency disorders, 
fluency is what the fluency that in india especially the all over the words lot of stuttering stammering jisko hum bolte hain haklaate hain bahut sare populations hain jo theek se nahi bol pate the fluency disorders like stammering cluttering kuch log fast rate of speech bolte hain so these populations come under the stammering and the voice problem so under the voice disorders a lot of professional singers are there so we are dealing to the professional singers and the normal voice users like the lecturers and they are using like the leaders if they are using the more misusing their voice they are creating the nodules polyps in their vocal folds and they are creating the vocal folds are not uh, properly moving and um creating a hoarse voice and the breathy voice some kind of uh, sometimes vocal fold paralysis also occur so we are dealing such kind of populations for voice therapy and the vocal rest and the vocal hygiene there are lot of techniques are there to deal uh, such populations i have discussed previously the apraxia uh, uh, apraxia is the one type of this speech disorder it is a result of the stroke or a heart diseases it usually involves the rearranging the words incorrectly and producing the inconsistent sounds and dysarthria is a motor com uh, motor common speech disorders and it is a motor speech disorders where the muscles of your mouth and the respiratory system get weak and stop moving so this this is the neurological condition that's why uh, they face the such kind of problems dysarthria and apraxia another one thing for the language disorder when we will talk there is a aphasia in case in that case the patient get a stroke after stroke the total comprehension of language understanding part and the expression part both are affected so there are many categories in aphasia like broca's aphasia wernicke's aphasia conduction aphasia so that is also neurologically connected so some uh, trauma in the brain some lesion in the brain after the stroke and they are totally language gone so that rehabilitation part i will discuss in the later slides okay any question now uh, in previous all slides i have discussed regarding the speech or uh, speech disorders and now i will discuss about the language disorder so what is the language the both portions are uh, different the under the communication skills the speech disorders and the language disorder speech disorder is related to the sounds the production of speech sounds you are not fluent your voice is affected but in case of language you are not able to understand if this is my the comprehension of the symbols uh, like for hindi mein hum isko pain bolte hain ya isko remote bolte hain english mein remote bolte hain aise dekhne wali cheez ko hum remote bolte hain to that comprehension of language in any particular language that got affected so that simple system is got impaired the comprehension and expression part uh, that i have uh, Uh, divided the language disorders uh, language disorder divided into the two part like a developmental language disorder and the language disorder associated with the some biomedical conditions what is biomedical conditions now a day lot of autism spectrum cases autism cases are coming uh, in india but there is no abhi bhi now a day research bahut zyada chal raha hai ki kya reason hai kyun bachche jo hai autism ho rahe और क्यों ए डी एस डी के चाइल्ड जो सिंपल अटेंशन डेफिसिट चाइल्ड इज क्रिएटिंग बिहेवियरल इश्यूज एंड चाइल्ड इज नॉट द सोशल इंटरक्शन पियर इंटरक्शन सीवियरली अफेक्टेड एंड देर इज नो एनी बायो मार्कर की दिस इज द एग्जैक्ट रीजन दैट्स वाई द चाइल्ड इज नॉट गिविंग प्रॉपर अटेंशन एंड क्रिएटिंग द लॉट ऑफ रिपीटेटिव बिहेवियर्स स्टेडियो काइंड ऑफ बिहेवियर्स इन केस ऑफ वॉट इज सो दिस इज अ बिग Trouble for India also, and we as a speech therapist, we are facing a lot of issues because a lot of children in during the lockdown also, a lot of kids are not able to speak, and they are uh, showing the lot of temperament, behavioral issues, stereotypic movements, and uh, this is a developmental language disorder. 
यहाँ पे there is no any reason the child is not able to speak. अभी one of the one questions parents generally ask कि मैं कब से start करना speech दे दी मेरा बच्चा तो नहीं बोल रहा my child is not speaking. So what is the critical age to start the communication skills and what is the exact time to start or uh, take the professional help? So this is the big question. Even doctors ask that what is the exact time? We wait for the four years, five years. A child will speak automatically. There is no any reason. There is no any mental retardations. There is no any other things. But what is the exact time? So this is the exact time. When the child, the critical age, the neuroplasticity of the brain develop. Uh, the mean research says zero to three, zero to five. So there are criteria at the age of one year, child started to speak up to the word level. The second age, he started to combine the words, and the, at the three years of age, the child speaks all the things, sentences, paragraph, everything. So I will suggest that if there is a child is delayed, there is no any harm to take help. From the professional, the child is not speaking properly, not communicating, and he is not up to his ma, and the peer relationship is affected. So that kind, that kind, no, some help, professional help is required. The, as I have discussed about the aphasia and traumatic brain injury, the most commonly our uh, language disorders are the developmental disorder, but in other the scenario. They can be caused by the brain injury, traumatic brain injury. जब accident हो जाता है, तो traumatic brain injury के case में the lesions are affected and language not impaired. Uh, what is the rehabilitation part overall? Uh, we have discussed the communication disorders and uh, these are the speech problems, uh, language problem. So these are the speech and language therapy. Through therapy we can child को हम उसको उसके level पे ला सकते हैं. डिसऑर्डर्स है या वॉइस थेरेपी है या स्टामिन की थेरेपी है सो देर इज अबिलिटेशन पार्ट सो विद हेल्प ऑफ स्पीच एंड लैंग्वेज थेरेपी वी कैन बूस्ट द चाइल्ड नाउ आई विल टॉक अबाउट द हियरिंग डिसऑर्डर्स सो एज वी नो द हियरिंग डिसऑर्डर्स इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग एंड उसकी वजह से बच्चे में बहुत सारी चीजें जो है ड्यू टू द हियरिंग लॉस प्रॉब्लम होती है लेट्स डिस्कस This is the hearing mechanism. I will not discuss in detail. This is the hearing impairment. Uh, the reason behind what kind of hearing loss, like a conductive, sensory, neural, mixed, functional, and central. Uh, this is the high risk register. So, in case of hearing uh, loss, what are the high risk factor is important. So, there is a chart which is given, like some family history, consanguinity. The congenital infection, cranial facial malformation, hyperbilirubin, mechanical ventilation, seizures, asphyxia. These are the high risk factors that can cause hearing impairment, hearing loss. A child can cause that. This is the degree of uh, and severity of hearing loss, like a normal, mild, moderate, severe, profound. The what are the instrument we use as a audiologist? Just many overall slides are there. These are the instrument which we that we use for the diagnosis of exact hearing loss. It is not loss of a child. So there are the pure-tone audiometer and there is a impedance audiometer, autoacoustic emission, OE, Bera, ASSR, lot of instruments to help for the exact diagnosis of hearing loss. Uh, this is the audiogram basically, जो हम लोग hearing loss detect करते हैं and then we plot the loss exactly कि किस level पे जो है loss हो रहा है. So this is the under the 25 dB जो है the we listen. So that is the normal hearing. और उसके below जैसे ही जाता है that is the hearing loss. Ah, uh, this is the impedance audiometry again. That is the diagnostic test for the tympanic membranes and the internal middle ears we see. What is the conditions of inside the ear? This is the beta. So, in case of uh, OE, if the child is newly born, there is a scheme of India, EHID, which is under the Supreme Court order. Actually, every child is born, and we do autoacoustic emissions test. 
सो दिस इज अटो एकोस्टिक इमिशन स्टेज और हम लोग यहाँ पे भी एन आई सी यू में वी आर कंडक्टिंग द ऑटो एकोस्टिक इमिशन स्टेज सो बहुत ही इम्पॉर्टेंट है द हेयरिंग स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट है बिकॉज इतने ज्यादा हेयरिंग इम्पेयरमेंट हो रहा है सो अर्ली आइडेंटिफिकेशन एंड फॉर अर्ली इंटरवेंशन इज ए वेरी मस्ट टू डिटेक्ट ड्यूरिंग द चाइल्ड हुड जब चाइल्ड इज बॉर्न एट द एन आई सी यू वी आर कंडक्टिंग दिस ओम इफ द चाइल्ड इज नॉट पास दिस चार्ट आई हैव टू टर्न इफ द चाइल्ड इज कमिंग रेफर विद इन ओ इन ऑटोकॉस्टिक इमिशन and child's one year is referred so what is the indication of that we have to after 15 days we have to do the retest again what is the conditions there is any other issues or not sometimes the fluid is fluid sac inside the ear the child is born due to the wax some other problems child comes baby refer so after 15 days we generally conduct retest of oe and then if again it is coming refer we go for the bera test Beta test and auditory steady state response (ASSR). So these are the two diagnostic uh, tests, which are very uh, elaborate level by brain level by we test. Uh, Bachas me conditions me hota hai, and on those conditions me we do beta and ASSR. And the type of audiological intervention me, when uh, we detect all these loss, so what are the interventions? What we can do now? If the child is diagnosed with the hearing loss. What are the conditions? What we can do after that? So there are the options for hearing aids. Another options are also assistive listening devices and the group hearing aids: Baha, middle ear implant, cochlear implant, brain stem implant, electroacoustic stimulation, the brain pacemaker, and auditory training, auditory AVT, auditory verbal therapy, and speech reading and speech and language therapy. So these are the rehabilitations we can do when the child is diagnosed with the hearing loss, right? Any question? I'm going fast. You know, take it. Now it's over. Uh, these are the hearing aids, uh, different kinds of hearing aids uh, that like behind the ear and the RIC, like CIC. It is in the picture, and this is rechargeable hearing aids. जो डिस्कस हुआ है इन द प्रीवियस डिस्कशंस वी हैव डिस्कस दिस इज द बाह बोन एंकर हियरिंग एड दिस इज द मिडिल ईयर इम्प्लांट दिस इज कॉकलियर इम्प्लांट एंड दिस इज द ब्रेन स्टेम इम्प्लांट्स दैट्स ऑल थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू एनी क्वेश्चंस यू कैन आस्क Yes, ma'am. Screening is very much important for early identifications and early intervention. Now, yeah, here at Ethar Hospital, we are now we have we are doing uh, OE at NICU department, and the sir is also there. So after if any referee is coming, Mike is here. Mike is here. हम विंडो यूज कर जाते हैं ट्रीटमेंट विंडो सो इट इज नॉट अ मैच